Hello everybody! Welcome to the 11th episode of the Warp Die Podcast. I'm Coffee. And I'm Macaron. We are back from an unannounced one month hiatus, which <laughs> we will talk more about in a second. First, we have an exciting announcement. The Warp Die Podcast now has an official Instagram account. Please follow us on at the Warped Eye. It would mean a lot. Yes, please. Also, the Warp Die is sort of revamping its content to include guest appearances from our friends and classmates. So do look forward to our future guest episodes. All right. So what has been going on with us lately? For me, I think it was just high school swallowed us up and it finally spoke. Bit us out. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yes, Sioli season has started. That's Sioli? Oh, it's, that's Science Olympiad for those that you don't know. We're nice. like major biology nerds. We like <laughs> worship Campbell for life. <laughs> the Campbell biology textbook. Yes. Um, it oh, took a god. while to adjust to high school. Mm-hmm. Like, I thought it was just gonna take like a little bit of time but like it took like two whole months oh yeah i feel like socially and academically it was very different because we got three weeks and we're like yeah high school's not that bad academically it was like we thought we had adjusted three weeks in but then as the quarter is coming to coming to a close like as of October 30th. It's Halloween, by the way. Happy Halloween. Happy um, Halloween, but it's not Halloween for you guys because yeah. we're gonna... editing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What was I saying? Yeah, so the quarter is ending like midway through this next week, so like November 3rd or something. And Oh my god. Like, we've just adjusted because we weren't used to the whole high school tests thing because like three weeks into, the, into school, it was just getting into assignments and stuff and we're like we got this down it was a bit overwhelming but now we got it down but then all of the tests started piling up like last week i had nine tests slash projects slash quizzes in a week and that's not even as that's more tests than i have classes and i'm so confused like how did that even happen it's so it's so stupid and yeah then- next week is similar it's so weird because like just when like the quarter i don't even know what i'm gonna do when the semester ends my god like actual like, finals final finals Ugh. i don't really understand why you have so many tests though like I don't know either like my friends didn't it was just for some reason the specific teachers and classes that i took all of them corresponded on that week like the test it just happened to be like most people had a normal amount of tests like last week, like maybe like a mini essay, like a extended paragraph they call it, um, and like a couple of quizzes on and a test like last week. But I had like twice or thrice the amount most people did for some reason. I don't even know how that happened. Wow, your luck is something else. <laughs> it's that's and like maintain extracurriculars because like I do school and then there's like well I guess nowadays we do have more time for extracurriculars because we're back on this podcast but I'm really concerned for like future years because it only gets like more until senior year then it's then it's chill I'm looking forward to senior year <laughs> you're looking forward to writing all those essays it's not that, no, like, after you finish your college applications, ah. like, it's all chill. Like, once you've submitted everything, and or you have everything ready and you just need to submit, you're good. Like, at that point, grades don't matter as much. As long as you, like, have a, okay, like a good GPA for, like, the school you want to attend, you don't really have to pay that much more attention to your extracurriculars anymore. <laughs> like, you don't have to, like, go to all of the national competitions anymore you don't you're not striving for that anymore like i already applied they're not gonna see if i did it or not so watch some college admissions officer listen to this episode and be like these children they think i'm not watching (laughs) my god uh, okay if this podcast goes all the way up to college admissions people that is surprising (laughs) (laughs) 
I mean, I feel like that's like they know that. It's common knowledge. Yeah. Okay, let's wrap up with the fun debate question. Would you rather know the date of your death or the cause of your death? Date. Really? Why? Wouldn't that be so stressful? Just like the impending doom. Like, what is your reasoning? (laughs) My reasoning is that if I knew the cause of my death, then I'd be constantly avoiding anything to do with that. Like, say, if if the cause of death was like, I don't know, like... Getting hit in the face by a grape. That's why you're gonna die, (laughs) Macaron. Well, yeah, so, like, say, like, if I was gonna... If, like, I knew that I was gonna die by, like, drowning or something. Like, I know how to swim, but, like, maybe, like, my I'm on a cruise and it sinks or something and I die. And I don't want... (laughs) Titanic. I I don't want to, like, never go on a cruise again, you know? I want to still enjoy my life. I don't want to, like know that like i don't know maybe i'll like die from a slow death of like some bad disease or something i don't want to know that because then i'll be really really scared and paranoid about it but then if i knew the like the date of my death then i could make sure like that i do everything i want by that time oh so you think of it like as a deadline dead live (laughs) like like if you knew the date of your death like your 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 death is when your life ends, so like it's a deadline for you to get everything done. Oh, deadline! Yeah, for some reason I forgot the word deadline meant. Like I thought it meant like a deadline, and I was like, huh? Yeah, you're gonna be a deadline when you get buried <laughs> in the ground. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I I do think of it as a deadline. Like I need to get everything done. I need to enjoy my life. But if I know the cause, I won't be able to enjoy the thing. That might have caused my death, you know? I don't want to know. I'm sort of the opposite. I don't really know, want to know when. I just want to know why. I, I'm, because, like, I am fine with avoiding things. But, like, if you avoid the cause of your death, wouldn't the cause of your death change? Or maybe, actually, no, it wouldn't. you could... No, there could would be, like, some major thing that would end up causing that. Then fate would know that you are you knew the cause of your death. Oh well, I think you could technically figure out both sort of like if you ask what the cause of your death was, and it was something that's not old age, then you know that your death is coming pretty soon. Not necessarily. My cruise sank. It might be like a Alaskan cruise that I decide to take when I'm seventy five. <laughs> what, what's with that five? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like seventy's a bit too young. So seventy's I said a not. bit too young. Wow, the seventy year olds right now are so happy that you think that they're young. They're not young. You're old, seventy year old. <laughs> but, but but it's too young to die. You know, you it's too live. young to die. Yeah. Like, you should live until, like, you're 80 at least. At least. You know, like, 85. That's a good number to die. Uh, good to know, Macaron. Good to know. <laughs> I'd be happy if I died at 86 years old, you know? Like, 86 is a good number to die at. <laughs> wait, wait, like, 70 up. years? We're gonna keep you updated on if <laughs> Macaron reaches her dream death age. <laughs> My dream day. Because <laughs> the thing is, if I live, like, in my 90s, I feel like I'll just be miserable. Like, uh? because, one, I might have, like, a bunch of health problems because I'm so old. And I'll just, like, want <laughs> to walk properly. Because I'm not an athletic person. I know that I'm not going to be super healthy when I'm old, okay? Like, I I, I faced it already. <laughs> but um, Now we're not super healthy at the moment. Like, you know those backpacks? They are, like, ruining <laughs> my back. And, like, the amount yeah. of time I spent slumped over a computer, not good. I literally have neck pain and I'm 14. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> like I'm not the most healthy person. I'm not really, yeah. But that's that's my reasoning. That's my reason. I feel like it's a it's a good reason. I wanna I wanna die at 86 years old. I don't wanna be stuck with health problems. And then my grandkids will grow up and leave me alone, and they won't care about me anymore. And I'll oh, be like, so sad. Sob story. Yeah, and my kids, are, my kids are so old anyway. Like they'll have their own health problems, and 
their kids are only going to be worried about them and not going to be worried about their poor grandma, okay? I want <laughs> And so I will be alone and sad. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get happy when, when my when my grandkids still care about me. <laughs> okay, that was a very short and sweet catch up episode. Thank you for stopping by. We'll be back with full episodes with special guests and more. So be sure to check them out. Bye. Bye.